What's up everybody? 915 Mang doing a video today because I'm getting my SCA aquariums. It's 150 gallons, 60 by 24 by 24. Um, it's gonna come with a stand and everything. And I'm just gonna show you the delivery, how it went, some of the uh, problems that I almost had and encountered and go from there. Before you get the delivery, I highly suggest that you clean up the area because the delivery guy is not going to help you out. So you have to have the area clean, free, so that way you can have them hit your aquarium and your tank stand as well. It's two pallets, guys. On the website, it did say that they were only responsible for dropping it off at the curb. Um, that would have really sucked. So I did go ahead and offer the pallet jack and the lift gate. Um, because there's no way that you're going to be able to carry this thing from the curb all the way to inside of your house. And as you can see, that is the lift gate that he's using. As you can imagine, I'm very excited about this pallet getting my aquarium, getting my tank stand. I went with SCA aquariums because I did not want to pit the tank stand together. I was seriously going to buy an S, um, a Red Sea aquarium. Uh, the price was also another factor of why I didn't go with Red Sea. The total price that I paid for the 150 gallon and this tank and stand and delivery and everything was $19.95. <laughs> At this point, I decided I was just going to go ahead and stand by, let the pro do his thing. Yeah. But I couldn't help that he almost dropped my tank. And at that point, I went ahead and decided I was going to go ahead and give this man a, hell, a hand because uh, I didn't want to wait any longer for my tank. Um, I wanted to hurry up, set it up, and this guy really should have brought along some help to help him out. But me being me, I don't mind giving somebody a helping hand, especially when they're dropping off my new baby. At this point, I started to think this was the very first time he's delivered a aquarium. Very nice guy, but you know, he got his experience from here, from me. Uh, I'm glad he had the pellet jack because this thing was super, super heavy. You can hear it scraping all the way through. It wasn't scraping my tank, but I did want to show you a thorough inspection. I wasn't going to let him go or sign anything until I inspected my aquarium. You can just hear the scraping and I'm helping the man out as best as I can, but he is a professional. I don't know if you guys have had similar experiences with your delivery. If this is anything at all what you've experienced, drop it in the comments below. Maybe you had it worse where the guy actually dropped your fish tank, then tried to make you sign for it. I don't know. I'm glad that I was able to be home at the time of delivery. Um, because this guy he showed up by himself. He should have brought somebody else with him because this was actually a lot of work for just one person, you know. Good thing that he did have a pallet jack and I was able to be home to help him out as best as I could. As mentioned before, you need to have your area clean because he's not really going to help you out. Um, he just kind of just rolled it up, put it in the middle of my garage, not so that way... I could have any walkway room. I did tell him, you know what, can you scoot this tank over a little bit? At that point, he had to do what I said because I did help him out. And uh, if I wouldn't have said anything, he would have just dropped it, left it there, had me sign it, and be done with it. Like I said, inspect it. Make him try to help you out as best as you can. Don't be a jerk about it. Just ask him politely or whatever. And go from there, guys. It doesn't hurt to offer a bottle of cold water either. I did a quick inspection of my tank. I had a razor on standby. I was ready to go as soon as he dropped it off. I started opening it up quickly so that way I didn't hold him up. I started looking at everything. That first top piece is the cushion that your, your tank is actually going to sit on. So be careful with that. I'm not going to be using that but I didn't uh, destroy it. I started checking the Euro bracing. I started checking the tank for any scratches, any cracks, anything that looked different. I totally took this box apart, which was, I got to give credit to SC Aquariums because uh, taking the box apart was really, really easy. It was well packaged and I'm um, very happy with that. 
I didn't just throw away all the cardboard and styrofoam and things like that. I did keep it around um, be to cover up the tank so that way anybody passing by through the garage wouldn't scratch the tank or anything would happen to my tank before it even got set up. Like I said, I did inspect the tank. Everything went good. No problems at all. Uh, despite the dragging, it almost taking a tip off of the uh, lift gate. Everything went well and uh, I'm pretty happy about that. This tank was very, very well packaged and uh, no issues right there. So shout out to the delivery man. Nothing happened to my tank. Almost took a little drop, but uh, glad nothing happened. The thing that he's delivering now is actually the stand. The stand is made out of wood and uh, I'm very happy with it. Little quick sneak peek of the 150 here. Really nice. Can't really tell the difference of the 180. Take a look at some of the bulkheads that I got. Came with strainers. All three of them came with strainers. A little piece on the bottom for the if you, for your hosing. Um, it comes with the hose. I'm not going to do soft plumbing. I'm going to actually do hard plumbing. And I am going to go ahead and use these bulkheads. And I will get into that later on. Let me also show you some of the plumbing that it came with. It did come with PVC plumbing. The PVC plumbing is mainly for the emergency overflows and also your return line. It comes with some cheap uh, return line, but I'm going to use it. I have a problem with that. And I am going to go ahead and spray paint the PVC because I don't like that. Now, with the good also comes the bad. You can see a little bit of damage to the stand. Uh, this is more of a cosmetic issue. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I did contact SCA Aquariums. I let them know what's up. I sent them a picture. Uh, supposedly nothing's going to happen with my tank. Um, but I did address that in my, my tank. I'm satisfied with it because it is going to get compressed down. Well guys, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Stay tuned, like and subscribe and more videos to come.